Logistics is a word that we usually associate with moving things and people from one place to another. And Christopher Augustine's first exposure to business was in his dad's trucking and spares operations. Then his own imagination kicked in and he saw the possibility of moving ideas by connecting creatives to potential clients. Habib chatted to Christopher about entrepreneurship and the logistics of talent marketing. It may seem pretty youthful to be the CEO of a pioneering online enterprise, but Christopher Augustine knows how to lead, inspire and innovate. When you combine business, music, creativity and humility all into one, it might just be a perfect fit for an inspiring day. Well, lucky me, because today I get to speak with one of the most inspiring men, Christopher Augustine, and I look forward to catching up with him. With his team briefed and ready for action, Christopher had some time to chat. Christopher Augustine. Habib, how are you? Well, thanks. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Chris, we'd really love to spend the day with you and get to know you a bit better. Let's go. Having completed his schooling, Christopher began studying for a BCom and then entered the business world. He was already working for a multinational by the time he had earned his degree and he continued to climb the corporate ladder while broadening his personal and creative horizons. By November 2015, he was ready to launch his own startup. Chris, how would you describe yourself? I would say that I am a very chilled out person. I take life as it comes and every day I evolve with encounters with different people and with experiences. Where did your taste for entrepreneurship come from? It started off with a problem that I was faced. I was actually walking in Santon City and I met a very interesting entrepreneur, but he didn't have the tools to propel his business into the digital realm. And I just took it upon myself to say, let me help him, let me help him get digital. And eventually I answered the solution, let me get Africa digital. And that's how FYI Online was born. Talk us through FYI Online, what does it do? Well, let me show you. Awesome. The FYI Online is a complete solution. Your tab enables your business to do things. So if you look at this tab, it says sell products. So that's anything from houses, cars, muffins, t-shirts. And if you look at the appointments tab, that means not only can you sell an actual tangible product, but you can also sell a service. So makeup artists, doctors, lawyers can run the entire business. How is this different to other conventional platforms? You are part of the marketplace that actually gives you leverage in terms of reaching the clients you want to reach and B2B helping you connect with other businesses because I believe that partnership is very important in business these days. To set up your business, it takes you five minutes. And every business is actually vetted. So we ask them to submit their CK documents, their ID documents, because we don't want it to be a website where there's a lot of fraud happening. So from the get-go, we want to make sure that FYI has truthful businesses where the end user wouldn't get cheated. Image and appearance seems to be very important to you. Why is that? For me, I really do take pride in how I'm dressed because it's a direct reflection on myself and my business. I think the way you look and feel is purely dependent on how you dress. If you put on a suit and it's tailored, you somehow have a better day, you feel more productive, and the way you interact with people is just a bit better. So definitely fashion does play a massive part in my life. I basically like very fitted clothes, so I tailor all of my stuff, whether it's my suits or just a normal work shirt, just to make sure that it fits correctly. It just gives me that bit more confidence. So I'm currently working on my new clothing line. It's just t-shirts for now, but the fit is phenomenal because that's what I focus on. Christopher's fashion range is taking shape and when he models his gear on social media, it reveals that he has the build to match the fit. You are very passionate about business, but I also know that you are passionate about health and fitness. I always keep myself fit by always not overdoing it, but just going to gym. Would you like to join me? Let's go. Let's go. Christopher's laid-back attitude doesn't do justice to his commitment to health, wellness and staying in shape. He's highly disciplined about working through his daily program, combining strength and cardio training, and his focus on physical fitness helps him to maintain mental focus.
He and Habib had a friendly rivalry going, pushing each other throughout the workout. And it wasn't surprising to find out that Christopher hasn't always enjoyed such good health. Phew, Chris, that was quite a workout, my man. Well done. Yeah, you worked me. It was hectic. Chris, you've had a fair share of challenges growing up, in particular from a medical perspective, where you were diagnosed with a brain disease called trigeminal neuralgia. How did this affect you and how did you grow from this disease? It's the most painful brain disease known to man. And coming out from it, I uh, to learn to walk again, talk again, and I'm currently deaf in my right ear, but that doesn't really hold me back. I don't let my disability dictate my future. I actually let that propel my drive and my ambition in life, so it actually really helped shape who I am today. The fact that you can walk again and that you're deaf in one ear, despite that, you were still able to do balancing exercises today with strength training. That tells me that you're a very strong man. I'm not just strong, eh? I also sing, I write my own music, and uh, I currently released my second single called I Love. I mean, don't let your disability dictate your future. You just do the most. Life is short. Christopher's image as a performing artist and entertainer makes quite a contrast to his sharp look in the entrepreneurial environment. We try to, we try to, we keep pretending by our love. He's also been able to turn challenging experiences into opportunities for reflection, creativity and personal growth. What inspires you? My entire disease really taught me a lot in life and during that time I couldn't really speak because every time I spoke I got a stabbing pain to the face. That's one of the disease symptoms. So in that moment I actually wrote a ton of songs because I couldn't speak. So all my emotions and everything that I was going through, because when you're going through bad times in life you actually learn the value of true friendships, true relationships and all of my songs are emotional but it comes from the heart and I wrote everything because there was no other way to express myself. Chris, it's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you today. From Mela, we just want to say thank you. We wish you all the very best in your future endeavors and we look forward to watching you grow. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.